Hi everyone, this is Darvina Ventura with Darvina Plays With Scissors. And I wanted to go through a little treat bag I created with the Stamping Up um, products. I'm a Stampin' Up demonstrator and I'm fairly new, but I've been learning a lot and having a ton of fun. Anyway, this is our Halloween um, bag. I made a little candy bag and I used the um, Celebration label die to create a tag at the top for Halloween. You can use this, um, you can create this package for any holiday actually, but I just did it for Halloween. So um, the bundle we're going to be featuring today is the Celebration bundle, uh, Celebration tidying bundle I should say. These are the stamps and these are the dies that you get when you buy the bundle. So, let's put that aside. And if you have the catalog, this bundle, oops, upside down, this bundle is on page 56. And you can see all the different ways that you can use this bundle. Um, but what I'm going to be doing with the Halloween bag is the same here at, uh, that they created for Christmas. So you can see how cute it is for Christmas. And then they also have it again in the back here. They've got a sample of what it would look like if they did something for Valentine's Day. So this, this, this uh, label die is pretty versatile. Um, let me put that over there. So we'll go ahead and get started on this. Um, I'll put this up here so I can look at it for reference. And let's go ahead and start. Um, we're going to use the largest label die in this packet. Um, but you can use any size. You just have to make sure your bag is a little bit smaller. So we're going to go ahead and use that. So let me pull my cotton emboss machine over and we're just going to cut out this die. And the handle is way over here. Oh, let me put this back. Let me switch it around. And let's just move this through. It's not sticking because I've got it on the grid paper. Otherwise, this stamp and cut machine has suction cups on the bottom that help, excuse me, that, <laughs> I'm choking, that help it um, stick to your desk. And I'm just going to put this back. This is helping me stay in frame. That's why I have it here. So as you can see, here's our label. And then I'll just put all of that aside. And then I want to get my score machine, my score tool, because I want to score this right in the middle. I'm going to score it right in the middle of this notch. And I just line it up right there. And I really like this tool. It has a cutting blade and then a scoring, I don't want to say blade, but tool. So you can just score it right there in the middle. So then it just folds in half like that. See how pretty simple that is? So let's put this away. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do, I'm just trying to get this even. It's just, where's my bone folder? It's just gonna drive me crazy. Okay, that's a little bit better, okay. So now what I want to do is I want to go ahead and use this cobweb um, to create the little background white behind all of our tags. So let me just grab that and get my stamper. I'm just going to put it at an angle because my little stamping block isn't big enough. But um, if you have a bigger block, it fits perfectly, I'm sure. And then I'm just using the Craft White ink, which is an embossing ink. 
and I'm using it in white so that it will give me a crisper, uh, let me turn this over, will give me a crisper um, emboss with the white. So what I'm going to do is I want to line it up uh, about there. Okay, it's not that crisp. If you have a Stamparatus, it would be best to use that. Um, that way you could re-stamp it. I can't re-stamp it right now um, because I would make a mess. Now I wanna put this one a little bit above because I wanna leave room for the black glitter. Otherwise you won't be able to see the bottom piece. So I'm gonna put it about here. Okay, perfect. So let me put this away and clean off with my little chamois, clean off my stamp. You can see this looks like a mess, but it's amazing how it cleans, oops, and you can throw it around. It's amazing how it cleans your stamp. So let's get rid of that. And let's go ahead and get our embossing powder. And we'll just use the back of my instructions. And as you can see, some of the powder has gotten outside of where I stamped, which is fine on the inside because it's going to be covered by the black glitter paper. But down here, I kind of want it to, I want to clean it off a little bit. Okay, so now I just get my heat tool and let's just heat this up a little bit. Let me get rid of this though before I make a complete mess. Because if you know anything about me, I will knock that down. So now I'm just heating it up. Sorry, I found some more flyaways. I'm just heating it up until it melts. And the heat does kind of curl the paper a little bit. Okay, you can see it's starting to melt and get a lot whiter than what it was. Actually, mama, that's hot. Which is why it melts, right? Ouchie. Okay. There we go. Not bad. Considering. From what I understand, Stampin' Up! doesn't sell the Embossing Buddy anymore. Which is a powder that helps... Um, it helps the embossing powder to only stick to where you have stamped and it doesn't stick anywhere else. Um, so, but like I said, they don't sell that anymore, so I didn't use it. So now we've got that. Now I want to go ahead and trim this. I trimmed about a, a one inch strip of the glitter, black glitter paper. And I, it's already one inch wide, so I wanna go ahead and um, do a four inch 
four inches long. So that should work perfectly, right? Okay, so let's move this. Now, Stampin' Up! does have a banner punch, and believe me, it's going to be on my next order. But for now, I don't have it. So I'm just going to create my own little, um, gosh, what are these called? Tails. And you can do this if you don't have the banner punch like me. There you go. So let me get rid of those, get rid of this. So I can go ahead and glue this. So where is, oh, here it is. Here's my stamp and seal plus. If I can get it off, get the lid off. I just got this last night, so I haven't used it. But from what I understand, okay. Oh, there it is. From what I understand, it is very heavy duty and will hold like crazy. So that looks pretty good like that. So we'll just go ahead and stick that there. Put these away. out. Okay, put these away. Okay, so now let's go ahead and work on the little spiders. So with that said, I'm actually pulling off the little spider dies. I know it doesn't look like that. It, they kind of look like bats, honestly, but they are spiders. They go with the spider stamps, and you'll see how that works. So we'll go ahead and put the cobweb back in here, and then now we're just gonna grab the little spider. And I'm gonna grab my Memento ink. And we're just gonna stamp the spiders onto this Whisper White cardstock. Oops. <laughs> Almost messed that up, huh? Okay, so one more. Yeah, we'll do one more. We'll do it across from the other one, because we do have two dies. Perfect. Okay, let me just wipe that off really quick and put it away because I'm famous for losing stuff. So in the meantime, let me get this stuff put away. Well, I'll put the die up on top because I'm going to use it again. We know that. Okay, so what we're going to do from here is bring our... Aichi mama, bring our stamp and emboss back. And I dropped all my plates. And we will put the card there and then we just line up the little dies to cut around the stamps that we just created. We put our top plate on and then we run it through because there we go. And I just did that one little piece. I didn't want to go all the way through. So as long as I got the spiders cut, that's all I care about. So I just went through a little bit and then backed it out. So here are our little spiders. And let me put this back. Oh, there goes my paper again. Okay, let me see if I can get this back. Yeah, it looks good. Okay, so now what I wanna do, I went ahead and cut out the tag. This is a tailored, 
pad punch. And it looks like this. Um, I don't know if you can tell, but it looks like that. And I just unlocked it. And then I put the orange cardstock in and just popped it out and then I got this little tag. So it's super convenient. I love it. And I went ahead and stamped it with a little spider that we have on our festive corners stamp set. Um, he's right there. So I went ahead and used him just as an option. That's an option that you have, you can do. You don't have to, but I wanted to. So now what I wanna do is take our stamps again. And this time I wanna do, I want to stamp Happy Haunting onto this orange piece. And let me grab my stamp. And this guy just barely fits. So I'm gonna use real red, which is kind of like a blood red, but it mixes with the orange, so it's not so bad. Mixes with the pumpkin pie color. Okay. So now, just barely fits. And I'm gonna press. Now I have to pull it off and there we go. Put this back, clean this off, even though I've already stained it. So now what we're going to do is I want to use some dimensionals because I want this to pop up. So got some dimensionals here left over from one of my paper pumpkin kits, which they give you so many, which is awesome. But before I do that, it just dawned on me, one of these spiders I want to be flat. So I am going to... Put some stamp and seal on it. And I went over a little bit, so I need to fold it under. And then just stick him right there. He looks perfect. And now what I wanna do is put my happy haunting right in the middle as best I can. That looks good? I think so. And then we're going to pop up our last spider. Come on, he doesn't want to come up. Oh my goodness, okay, got him. And yeah. Okay, so then this one, I'm going to put right there. Hmm. I think I should put him there or over here. I'll put him over here. Perfect, so then the last thing is these little iridescent beads. And I'm just going to grab, as soon as I find my tweezers, I'm just gonna grab one. Oops. Okay, did anybody see where it went? Okay, you know what? We'll just grab another. Oh, there it is. Okay, it's in my hand. And I just want to place it right on the body of the spider. So there we go. Perfect. And then what we do is. We fill up the candy. In fact, let me go grab a bag. I have these 
generic little bags, plastic bags that I use for cookies. So I think I stapled my candy corn clothes so I wouldn't eat it. So you just fill up your bag with whatever candy you want. And then I just fold it over the cellophane. I didn't want to fold it over too much because I want the candy to show through. I don't want the tag to cover the candy, but yet I want the tag at the top so that I can staple the bag when I staple the tag. Does that make sense? Yes. So then there's one and two. So there you go. There is your Halloween bags. Happy Halloween.